hi guys this is the last video of this to do's app so we're gonna see how can we uh, uh, save or persist the data whenever you delete any list or not so let's begin with delete to do so in here what we need we need const to do three and i'm going to just copy it from here and use it here and in here we are going to use to do three in here and also we don't have to write the same code again again this this part like so what we can do uh, we can just create a new function in here set persist you can say so given to it uh, you can give the to do three as a param now we haven't created it so i'm just going to create in here so just use can set to do and giving the to do and returning back or just send uh, yeah just use it here so just copy this part and just paste in here now in here we don't need to do you know we don't need okay so to do is we can change this params to do it to do now that's it that's what we need in here now in here okay set persist what i have said okay set persist so just change the name of it says set, set persist now yeah that's all what we need in here so this is done this is done now edit to do we don't know need to have anything in here we need in here so const do for i'm just going to copy it from here and just going to paste in here and also using the set persist and just given the to do for in here and also in here this is done and also the same thing you have to do in here so in here set persist to be a null uh, empty array yeah that's all what we need in here so just check it here that it's working or not okay just refresh it again mm, it's working okay now let's check this one yeah it's working now only one thing is to do the edit part so if we just use it like this and if we just refresh it again yeah it's working yeah whole things working now all the things has been done now one thing to be do is to refactor our code like we have used some code that we don't have to use it like this so refactoring code is very needed in every branch of testing purpose also we need this one so let's see where we do we need okay we don't need this any anything in here maybe an input field we need is yeah so we're gonna convert this class component into you can say functional component so how can we do this so i'm just going to you convert you remove this const using const we don't need this extend now extend keyword we just need this part and we don't need this one we only need return and yeah just remove this part and also in here we don't need this 
keyword because this only we used in the class component and we are going to convert this one to be a const as we have learned this part in the previous video that for the functional component we can write if you're going to write our own component up our own methods you can write it like this and we can also use some destructuring also that we have seen in the previous video so what are the destruction that we need in here we can use add text we can use text we can use selected and that's all what we need maybe so just remove this part we don't need this part we don't need this part also and we also not need this part just removing it and we also not need this part it's a whole bunch of things that we have to remove right so this so it will make our code less like if you know how to do this so we also don't need this part oh we have to add this dot add to do right so i'm going to add it here just using it add to do now this is done we don't need this part we also don't need this part also yeah now this is done all things working good now there is one more thing that you can do right i haven't talked it about like right now but i am going to uh see i'm going to tell that if you are destructuring here also you can use so basically state have this text and select it right so you can just destructure these things text and select it so we don't need any of it you can just remove this part and use it like this it looks much cleaner right it looks good and it will work in uh, the same way that you can see now in our app.js if we see the same thing is happening no the same thing is not happening in here input field is means fully done now introduce list the same thing you can do in here also you can just destructure these parts and convert this into this and we don't need this one also now in here this is the only thing that we need to convert into do.js maybe one, many things to be done uh no in here also we don't need this okay so in here also we can just destructure this text and select it and remove these parts also so you can just find out which are the things that are not needed so that we can see that how the code can be reduced too much now in our action you can see there are many things that to be done like in here um, there's nothing to be done but in our add to the action you can also use it like this no we have made a, okay okay so this is the whole part that we need oh my where is the input field i can't see input yeah we have input field right now this will work the same way that you have seen if we just refresh it again it will work the same way if we delete it it will work the same way yeah that's all thanks so in the next series of react we're gonna see hooks very popular very interesting let's see thanks